Hello there, another quick pickup um, from uh, the weekend. Uh, it's really rainy this weekend, so didn't get to uh, do too much, but uh, I was able to make a few, uh, two Facebook Marketplace pickups and uh, just some extra stuff from garage sales um, that I was happy to get. Um, I didn't do too much, I'm kind of taking it slow, um, trying not to go out too much anyway, but I'm also just, uh, I have a lot of a lot of stuff to go through still because of some of the massive pickups I've had lately. Uh, the first pickup was these three PS3, PS1 games, I should say. Um, and these were 15 bucks. Um, this is a Facebook Marketplace pickup. It's a little strange. I was a little wary, um, not for any bad reason, but because the, um, the person had posted these three for 15 and they said like PS1 collection items. And I was like, okay. They also had two other posts, two separate posts. One was Frogger for the PS1, and they had that at th like 35 or 40. And then they had another post, separate post of Pac-Man World for like, and once again, like $40, which is really confusing. <laughs> um, I don't know why. Really was trying to figure it out. Like, why do they have these two games so expensive? But then these three games, they're like, oh, 15 bucks. Do they mean that they're just cases? Is that why they said collection items? I, I don't know. It was worth it for me to go and check it out anyway. Went, pickup went fine. Um, I'll go ahead and show you these real quick. Um, Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub-Zero. And this one's for the collection. It's in there. Good quality. Dead or Alive. Very nice. Another one for the collection. Very nice. And Croc, Legend of the Gobbos. And this one I did have, but I have a greatest hits, so I will replace it with the uh, with the black label, for sure. But um, but yeah, really strange that um, they had it like that because. You know, this is about 30, this is about 30, this is only like 10 or so, but definitely not as worth as <laughs> Pac-Man World or Frogger aren't worth that much at all. So some nice games for the collection. I don't think they're rare or anything, but a little bit harder to find uh, fighting games for the collection. So I was happy about that. The next pickup was uh, just a random garage sale I happened to go to. Picked up Deadpool for three. Nice little pickup. Metro Redux for three as well. And those I'm just gonna uh, sell. I'm not keeping a lot of PS4 games right now. So it was a nice pickup. Um, there was a sale that had posted that they had a bunch of random video game stuff, um, like two PS2s, a PS1, Xbox, and two PSPs and a bunch of random games. And um, I guess they just have sales every so often um, out of their business because uh, I asked them if there was an appointment only or if you had to go there and he was like, oh yeah, just come on by. And there were a few other people there. So for 20 bucks, I picked up two PSPs. These are both uh, 3001 models. They are missing the backs and batteries, but um, they both turn on. This one, um, I think the joystick is broken are stuck because it just kind of scrolls upwards uh, all the time. And uh, this this one, yeah, you might be able to see the uh, square button is a little broken. It doesn't press down all the way. I think the X is also like that. So it's something that maybe it'll fix, but um, you know, who knows? Uh, they, both, they both work and they both read discs though, so that's good. Um, I don't know if I'll try to repair them or not. Um, I've tried to repair PSPs in the past and they're kind of a pain to open. We'll see if I can either fix it or um, probably just break it further. <laughs> That's the sad part, but uh, we'll see. Um, it might be something where, at least with this one with the buttons, I might be able to open it up and put the buttons back in. That's the kind of thing that I'm looking for. I was actually really happy to get it because like I said, it was posted online and I just got there and the PS2s are gone, but uh, they still had the PSPs. so. Pretty amazing and a good good price, great price really. 
Um, the last pickup was two um, BS lights, so definitely a very handheld weekend. Um, this one was twenty bucks, five bucks. Um, Facebook Marketplace pickup. Um, had a little shy guy case, but um, the first one is a. I think this is like the metallic pink um, DS light, and I do have both of these in my collection already. This one, the hinge is broken. I guess you can kind of see there. Um, but it turns on and it uh, it works just fine. It's just the hinge, so um, not sure what I'll do about that. But this uh, blue one, DS light, works just fine. So I was happy to see that. And I think one of them has the stylus, but the other one doesn't. But I'm always happy to pick up cheap handhelds like that. Like these, you know, even if they're a little broken sometimes, that's okay. But yeah, that's uh, that's really all I had. Um, not too much going on, but that's all right. Uh, probably a better time to stay in anyway. So I'll take a few uh, PS1 games for the collection and then uh, just a few extra things to sell. All right, uh, hello there once again. Uh, I got more pickups here. Um, as you can see, uh, I got some PS2 uh, games on this trip. Uh, basically, today I was doing a few um, Facebook Marketplace pickups, two of them. And uh, of course, I went around and I actually went to a city I hadn't been to in Illinois and uh, went to a few pawn shops and uh, found some decent stuff. Nothing too crazy, but um, uh, I was pretty lucky, and also I found some pickups from a flea market in my own town that I was revisiting after not being there for a few months. Anyways, uh, let me go ahead and get into it. The right left here is the first Facebook Marketplace pickup that I did. Um, this person posted two um, posts. Uh, the first was for a uh, Xbox 360 uh, e-console. Yep, e-console. Pretty good condition. It was pretty dirty. Um, it does have a 500 gigabyte um, hard drive in it, so that's good. Those are usually missing or something. So I was happy to get that. Uh, let me show the back real quick. Make sure. But pretty good condition. It did have the power cable. Thank goodness. Um, I'm running into this real issue where I have a bunch of Xbox 360s um, S models, and I don't have any power cables for them which is not great. You might notice there was a cut there, merely because uh, it was really gross. So <laughs> a bunch of crap falling out of it as I moved it around. That's after I shook it out. That's the Xbox 360. Like I said, it came with a power cable, so that was good because um, I've been running out or not having any for other Xbox 360s that I've picked up. So that was their first post and they had 50 on that. And then they also had another post 20 for a Wii console. This one doesn't have anything falling out of it, fortunately. Dirt or otherwise. This is a one, 101 model, so no GameCube ports, but um, it did come with two controllers, pretty nice condition, um, backs on them. It's uh, always nunchucks, pretty messed up. I guess it's just dirty, really. They're always dirty. <laughs> I don't know what about it is. It's about uh, nunchucks where they just get super dirty, but you know, that happens, I guess. And power or AV cable. So, no power or sensor bar. But that's okay, I do have extra. While I was waiting for that pickup, I actually went to a flea market in town. This one I had been to a whole bunch of times before. It's usually not that great. Very few games. Um, it's more of like a knickknacks, I would say, kind of flea market, um, where that's pretty popular. Just different kind of knickknacks and stuff. Uh, one of the places there that sometimes has games, they have, seem to have gotten some new games. So I was able to get some nice cheap PS2 games. Um, these were all two bucks. First being uh, Tie 2, Tasmanian Tiger, Bush Rescue. Um, I do already have that, but these are actually all in really good condition as well. So I was happy for that. Um, one for the collection, Deuce X, The Conspiracy. Very nice. And they're all complete. Uh, like I said, they're in pretty good condition. Um, Prism Chapter One. Um, this I picked up just because uh, I needed the manual, and I think that the one I have, the cover art, is pretty bad. So uh, for two bucks, 
Of course, I'm going to pick up a nice copy of it. Make that complete. Another new one for the collection, Vex. Didn't have that before. It's uh, interesting. <laughs> and another one for the new collection, Gia Dark Lineage. I don't think any of these are worth too much. Um, like I mentioned, nothing too crazy, but I'm um, still happy to get them. I'm always happy to add to my PlayStation collections, um, especially PS2. Um, I'm somewhere around 600 um, for these, so very nice to get that. And the last pickup for this set um, was um, some more PS2 games. Go figure. Like I said, I went to a new city that I hadn't been to and they had a few local pawn shops. It's the kind of smaller city where the pawn shops really are like their game stores. You know, you go in and they just have a whole section dedicated to it. They have the newer stuff, usually priced, priced up of course, as you'd expect. But what I like about those kind of shops is that the older stuff, usually they have pretty cheap, especially commons, you know. Sometimes you'll find some, some really good stuff in there, but most of the time you just find a bunch of commons and you can pick that up like um these uh these four that i bought um were three bucks a piece um of course sometimes with small town pawn shops i think this one they had uh their sign said one dollar for ps2 games and uh you know they they didn't seem to care too much about changing the price because i was like uh, this is like thirteen dollars with tax, and I was like, uh, I pay a dollar a piece. And I was like, and like the sign says it's a dollar. I was like, oh, I guess I need to change that. You know, three bucks still, just fine. Not too concerned about it. Um, so these were, like I said, were three bucks. Um, all complete, I believe. Should all be complete. Um, I got attack, great juju challenge. I believe I do need that foot flexion. I'll have to double check. Um, my street. Uh, Zapper, I definitely need this one for the collection. Cricket game. Not that kind of cricket. Backwards as well. And Frogger, the great, the great Quest. I believe I do need this one for the collection. And yeah, it was, uh, this one was disc only. So, not too bad. Um, I mean, just the two, three dollar PS2 games that I'm getting right now is pretty great. I'm pretty happy to be able to do that. All right, so here's another part of that uh, pickup that I had. Um, like I said, I was going to uh, two Facebook Marketplace deals, and you can see the second one here uh, with a Nintendo. But um, before I get to that, I'll go ahead and show um, another pawn shop that I stopped at. They had a nice situation, though, where new games, of course, were priced up, but PS2, PS3, Xbox 60, and Xbox, um, all of those were like, you know, four dollars or three dollars per game, but um, they take a dollar off each if you buy three or more. So that's the kind of stuff that I'm looking for, where uh, I can get those common games. Um, you know, I'm probably not going to find a Rule of Rose in their PS2 games, but I will find some uh, common games that I need to keep working on that collection. And to get them for like two a piece is great. Two of these I know I need: um, Luminez Pulse didn't have that in the collection. Complete. Like I said, there are two bucks. Um, Ford Street Racing. Old moves. Street Racing. So just a racing game. Two bucks. Uh, in the Groove. I couldn't remember um, if In the Groove was uh, one that was worth something. I know one of the uh, dance games is, but um, I couldn't really remember. Um, I might just keep it anyway, um, just to add to the collection. But um, regardless, I was trying to get to that three so I could get them for two a piece. So not like it was a huge deal there. I mean, if I buy the other two for three and three, at six. So I might as well buy one more and get it for six. That's the logic anyway. Um, so I bought three PS3 games, of course, that were, it was $4 or three if you buy three or more. So uh, I got Mortal Kombat for DC Universe. Um, that's for resale. I've, I think this is like my third copy and it always sells pretty fast for like $10, $12. Uh, 
um, PS3 combo pack for Black Ops 1 and 2. And this also I've had before and it sells pretty quick. And one that I'll put in the collection if I don't have it. I'm pretty sure I don't. Uh, Middle Go Solid for Guns of the Patriot. So, like I said, not... I mean, they were definitely picked over for the older stuff. Um, but there's still a few okay things there, and the price was was great. Basically, um, I was really happy to find it because I'll add it to my list of, you know, this is a good place that if I'm in that area, I'll go back and check. You know, maybe they got a new stock of PS2 in or new stock of PS3 or something. So worth my time to go there and uh, look for stuff. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you the uh, $60. Uh, or I'm sorry, this is $60. It's $40 uh, for this Nintendo bundle. Uh, I was kind of surprised I got to this one. It was up for like an hour or two. Um, but uh, the person said that uh, I was the first one to message them. And then a bunch of other people messaged them. But uh, mostly yellowed system, but in okay condition. Um, he wasn't sure if it still works. He had played with it, he said, like a year ago or something. Um, had a, uh, I think it's a third party zapper. I haven't really seen this one before. Definitely doesn't feel like a regular zapper. I don't know if maybe this is one that's uh, designed to work with newer TVs or not. That'd be nice if it is. Um, he also didn't have any controllers, but he had bought these like weird third party NES controllers. Look like they came with a one of those sets, you know. <laughs> so that's fine though. Um, I do have. Some extra controllers that I can use. Um, fortunately, he did have the power cable. That's that's becoming the most important thing in bundles <laughs> lately. It seems like I get just the system, and then I don't get a power cable, and then I have to either wait until I happen to find one, get an extra, or buy one. <clears throat> um, power cables or AV cables. Probably. But there was a few games in here. Kind of the most interesting. Well, I wouldn't say that. It's not the most interesting one, but the most interesting for my collection is this NES cleaning kit box. I'm not sure if it was supposed to come with anything other than the actual cleaning kit itself. Um, in there. But, I mean, kind of an interesting thing to be able to add to my box collection. And it's in the box is in good shape, so there's nothing else in there anyway. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't really say on it um, if it came with anything else. I might have to check online to see, but still cool to get that. Um, and I'll put it on the shelf. Why not? <laughs> Cleaning kit or not? It's still a NES thing, so that's cool. Um, and the game's here, uh, pretty decent. Um, Pac-Man, Tengen Pac-Man, pretty. Bad label on that one, though. Uh, of course, the Super Mario's Dunk Hunt. Standard. Family Fitness Athletic World, which I believe is the new copy of uh, Track and Field. Or is it Track and Field? It's not Track and Field. Whatever the um, really expensive one is on NES. I'll probably put a note. But, uh, but yeah, I believe this is the... Um, what they had to rename it to and made it less rare. If it is the really rare one, then I'll add in a video of me uh, ripping out all my hair because uh, that would be crazy if I just happened to got that. I don't think it is though, uh, which is good because I like my hair. Um, and the best one, Super Mario Bros. 2, which uh, you won't believe it, I actually don't have. <laughs> Another one of those that's like, how did I not get this before? Um, for whatever reason, I didn't have a copy, so very happy to pick one up with the bundle um, because I will keep that for sure. And that I'm keeping as well would be for the collection, so that'll be nice. So interesting little bundle. Um, definitely happy to get uh, Myers two, Mario two, and uh, box clean kits. Interesting too. So, um, but for forty bucks, obviously, and um, even a yellow Nintendo's good deal. Uh, assuming it works, of course, but uh, 
still great. Um, but yeah, that's all I got um, from this trip. 